Hello, this is Victory Story Mercedes.com. This video is for Annie and Ronnie. Anthony and Ronnie. Uh, okay, guys, so basically what I did just now is I uh, I, pull, I I I changed seals into in the offending cylinder, the worst leaking cylinder that we have. This was leaking severely, so I replaced the seals inside that cylinder. And I put it on the vehicle just to see how how the rest of the cylinder is doing. So I just wanted to cycle the roof and see if there is any if there are any other leaks. But um, there is an issue with the roof itself, the, the the roof activation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what's happening. And um, uh, the engine is running, so we get most of the power we get because it's at 14 volts now. Pump works faster. Now, <clears throat> the system was running, I tried to bleed it as much as I could. Uh, sun visors are off because I actually reset the uh, front lock cylinders here. So um, this piece was loose as it is, so I don't know what's wrong with it, but probably a screw in the back, but that's, that's how it is. This one is okay. All right, so this is the situation. When I tried, when I tried to open the roof, and this is what happens, so, well, first thing is actually roll bar, roll bar speed. Now, by activating the roll bar and I see how fast it goes, I can say that the pump has very good pressure in it. Because if the pump is weak, roll bar goes up very slowly. Okay, so let's go and open the roof now. So, here it goes. And that's it. It does not go any further. As you can see, it tries to activate something. The pump is running. Rear lid. Moving backwards and it keeps cycling. Nothing is happening up front and no further activation is possible. If I let go of the switch, press it on it again, same thing. So the roof tries to do something, it's shifting. But it's not opening. So what I'm gonna do next is, obviously this has to be troubleshoot. Tro you know, you gotta troubleshoot this. What's from my focus? Jesus. Okay, so here we go. See, nothing is going on here. But the rear, again, I'm pressing on the switch now. You can see the rear cover moves. Okay, now, when I close the roof, when I push, push the switch forward, the roof will close. So there we go. And windows follow I don't don't close windows all the way and again same the switch is not uh, lit up uh, what I'm thinking is right now I'm going to try to roll it back and forth so the the car sees speed sensors and see if that will help but uh, most likely it's not going to help there is some sort of an issue here uh, micro switch, a cement switch, uh, control module maybe, I don't know, but um, I need to troubleshoot this, see what's going on. So I'm gonna roll the car back and forth, and pull my truck out of here so I can go down the street and come back and see if it's going to fix it. If it won't fix it, then I will call you and we we'll discuss further actions. And if it fixes it, then obviously I'll proceed and it will not even upload this video but uh, so far it is sort of an issue I don't want to move forward knowing that the roof doesn't work what's the point of doing the rest of the work if it's not working right once it unlatches it's not going further so what I saw in my in my life is that usually 
speed sensor, if it's not visible to the control module, will not really make roof operate halfway. So there is probably an issue with some micro switches uh, that this some switch does not tell the computer that certain part of the system is in lock or unlock position. So I have to figure that out. Okay, so this is all for now. I'm gonna roll it back and forth, see what happens. If it works out, great. If it's not working out, I'm going to upload this video so you can see it. Um, check engine was there. Runs great. I love this car. This, this is a beautiful machine. Okay, so this is Victor at TheStoryMercedes.com. Thank you for watching.